Hey guys, it's Paul. I want to do a, I want to do a video quickly on how to connect via ODBC um, open database connection. You'll see here in the marketplace is this um, Devart Devart uh, ODBC driver. And if I go to the website, just it's one hundred and fifty dollars. But what it does for someone like me, I create a lot of crystal reports. I do a lot of data tunneling into, and I find it easier to do um, editing and you know maintenance of databases through third-party programs. But you might also have a third-party. Um, you might be using a different accounts program that you need to sync certain things to, and this ODBC will let you link in between and make sure everything's getting done. So I'll just show you what it does. I'm not going to show you how to set it up in this video. I'll probably come back to doing a, a full video on how to use it. But you basically, you're going to download it. There's a free version, there's a trial version for 30 days. And that's why I wanted to get this video out way. Because my trial's about to end and I need to decide if I'm going to buy it. Um, it's $150. But what you're going to do is you're going to connect to your uh, Zoho CRM via a third party data connection. So I'm going to open this PC that I've got. I'm going to go to, you would go to somewhere here and then settings, right? Settings, brings up that. I type in ODBC. Now, depending on the um, depending on the program you want to connect to, you may need to do 32-bit or 64-bit connection. So what I've got is, did that open? Yeah. I've got here the system, this security here. So this is my connection. So you, once you've installed the driver... You come here, you put the data source name, and then you add a security token, right? So what I do is I go back here and go to Setup, APIs, and then Settings, Authenticate, call it something, um, you know, ODBC, right, or something, and Generate, and it gives you that token. So that's my, that's my security token. So all I've got to do then is go back here, put it in this... Um, put it in this section here and then test it. Hopefully, I haven't just changed it. So it says I'm happy, right? So now I know my 32-bit uh, is connected. If you, depending on what you're using, you might need to do. You you probably will do both. Just do put them both in. Uh, do your 30, do a 64-bit one as well. So now when I go to Crystal Reports, I've actually got it open here, but I'm going to delete that. When I go to Crystal Reports and do a, a report wizard, and it's actually already open, but if I went new connection, it would bring up uh, all the options I've got, ODBC, and then security, Zoho CRM. It's gonna ask me my login. So that is your, your Zoho login. Oh. Du, du, du. Don't say your password out loud. And then I finish it. Hopefully it connects. And now I've got the database here. Look, contacts, events, leads. I can change whatever I want. So it's only test data, but I'm going to grab that contacts. I could li I could link other things to it, but I'll just in this video do a quick. I'll do a quick show of of the sort of things you can do. Uh, account name, email. And then, you know, finish, quick report. So here's a quick report of all that thing, all that information from Zoho. So you'll see it. If I go to contacts here, it's the same information as all these people here. And now what I can also do, so we're talking about integration with other um, apps. So I can go to Microsoft Access and uh, go blank database. What am I going to call it? Uh, security as well, right? And if I go up here and external data, new data source from other source, ODBC. Now this is where it'll look for the 64-bit because it's a 64-bit version of um, Access. And I'm going to link the data source by creating a link table. I'm not going to import it. And I find the Zoho 64 and now again it finds all those things so I select all and click OK so now it's going to link to all those contacts right or to all that data so every piece of data that's in my 
Zoho is now in um, is now in there, even though it's all saying deleted, which obviously it would when uh, why has it done that? So let me just pause and work out why it's done that. Okay, so probably in testing, I I changed some settings, and I think it was looking at the wrong account on the sixty four bit. So I'm now in the right place. I just did the same thing. I deleted the ODBC for 64-bit and reinstalled um, the the connection. And it's now pointing at the same place now. So what's really cool is what I can do now is change this data and it'd be live, right? So this Buttbenton, if I go to my report, it says Buttbenton here, right? Now if I just change that in there, And go back and refresh my report. Refresh report. It's changed. Right, sorry, dog were going mad that time. Now, so yeah, so you can live change stuff in this database. So if I might say is this is James Lee and change it. So now you can see where's the refresh? There she blows. The James Lee is refreshed, right? When I go to Zoho. And I go to my contacts, you know, John Butt. So always the one extra. Um, uh, yeah, James Lee Venere. So you can change things back end outside of Zoho, you know, and then you can, if you were, if you've got somebody who can do their own um, VB.net programs and they're going to do a third party. Um, connection you can do a third party integration you can connect to that data set uh, so I'm going to put a new connection uh, Microsoft ODBC source source name security login information uh, so all I'm showing you in this video is the possibilities for what you can do let me just test it. Test connection worked. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Exclude sensitive data. Yeah, just click it. Uh, connection string. So I'm only jumping through stuff. And it doesn't like me for some reason. Error code retrieval from the database. Error dev ODBC option feature not implemented. Okay, so maybe I can't do that, but I'll have to look into that. So what I wanted to show you though is you can connect your reporting program via ODBC. You can connect, connect to an access database, which gives you the option to then link to other databases through this um, dev art ODBC connection driver. I'm going to test it out more. You can see I've only got six days left in my trial. I'm going to look at back-end solutions to, to other things, but it's just a way to connect clean data, edit stuff, sync with other programs, and give you a little bit more flexibility on your um, on your Zoho CRM. Because you know, it's always good, say, if something here was missing, um, what would I do? You know, if I, I don't know if it'll let me, if I got rid of that art and then filtered this, say if I filtered this uh, is not, is not like, I don't know, star, art, star. Well, and then refresh data. It's going to show me the one that is, is not showing, uh, hasn't got a proper email address. So I can find errors, I can I can filter down to show me somebody who's got not got an account name, this is blank. We've got to find information for, it's obviously a simple, um, a simple example. Where did I just take it from? Come on. This one, right, Simon. Simon, yeah. Oh, another user. Oh, it doesn't like it because I've 
There you go. So you can only, only one person can edit it at the same time. And I refresh and that will vanish because obviously I've just fixed it. So if you've got data errors or you want to do data cleanups, you can filter certain columns and say, right, show me any of these where the number's wrong or the the email's wrong or something's wrong um, just by doing filters and doing separate reports. And obviously, Crystal Reports is a lot more powerful than the reports program in Zoho and it's live data. Um, so it's really cool. It's an option an option outside to get your people who do reports for you to um, to create custom reports back end uh, and it's worth playing with 30 day trial uh, it's worth giving them a try hope that helped it got a bit scatty because i didn't um i didn't want to go too far into it because it was more showing you the best showing how to use it rather than showing you what it can do rather than how to use it we'll go further in training how to use it further what sort of things you'd want to use it for and uh, all that sort of funky stuff. So hope it helps. See you all soon. Cheers.